Never Stop Learning, week 317. We're going to take a quick look at Asset Export in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. All right, so last week I went into the file menu, found Export, and went with Export for Screens. Then we played around with the Artboards tab. This time I want to take a look at Assets. Notice we have this big button here. It says Asset Export Panel. If you click on it, it will bring up the Asset Export Panel for you. But I'm going to hit Cancel and show you a different way to bring it up. Over here at the top in the Window menu, I'm going to scroll through to find Asset Export. And when you click on that, it's going to bring up the panel for you. Now, I think of this as like a basket or a holding area for my assets. Now, the way it works is just click and drag. Bring in the artwork. Now we have a new asset. Here's asset number two, three, and four. All right, so in this case, I was bringing in entire groups, but you could actually grab one element at a time. I'm going to switch over to the direct selection tool, and then grab this yellow star, click and drag, and I'll do the same for this blue star. Click and drag. Now I have a total of six assets ready to go. Now, before I export these, I actually want to talk about the panel itself. Over here in the top right, we have this flyout menu. We can switch from a grid view to a list view. All right, I actually like the grid view because I like the larger thumbnail. All right, back in here, we have this option for format settings. Now, this is really important. When you click on that, it's going to give you the settings for the individual formats you're going to export. So here we have PNG, JPEG, SVG, and PDF. So before you export, make sure you come in here and make the changes you need for your particular workflow. All right, I'm going to hit cancel. Next in the flyout menu, we have this option here. It says open location after export. Now, if you notice, I actually have this turned on. You see that little check there? All right, if I click on it, I'm going to turn it off. All right, I like it turned on so that after I export, Adobe Illustrator will show me my new assets. All right, so back in this panel, all right, if you target one of your assets, you could click on this trash can icon here and that will remove it from the panel. All right, so you could also bring in some new assets just by selecting them and clicking on this icon here. Add the selected artwork to this panel. All right, now you see it loaded in here. All right, one thing that I like about working with this panel is that you can update your artwork. Here, I'm selecting these two new items. I'm gonna change the fill color. And notice we updated the artwork and our asset export panel has been updated as well. So they're linked together and you don't have to go around updating things over and over again. Everything's already taken care of for you. Down over here at the bottom, we have our export settings. If you don't see them, just click on this little icon here and that will either contract or expand the panel for you. Over here on the right, if you click on Android, it's gonna load some Android presets. So if you're gonna export for an Android device, make sure you click on that and you'll be at a good start. Same goes for this iOS. Clicking on that, it's gonna load up different presets specific for those devices. All right, let's get rid of some of these. You could also add your own. All right, clicking on add scale then choose the scale you want to work with. You could add a suffix and then choose the format that you want to export to. All right, down over here on the bottom left, we have this little information icon. When I hover over it, it shows me that I have zero items selected, so I don't have anything to export and my export button is dimmed. All right, back over here at the top, I'm going to target one of these assets. Now when I hover over this, it's showing me that I have one item selected and I have an export total of two. All right, if I shift click on a couple of these, now I have three selected. So it shows me that I'm gonna export six items. All right, over here on the right, this one is gonna actually bring up that export for screens dialog box. In here, you can make some changes, choosing a new destination folder and even adding a new prefix. All right, I'll hit cancel. And the last button we have is the most important which is export. Clicking on that is actually gonna start the export process for you. Here you choose your folder. I'll go with asset export folder. And then Illustrator goes ahead and makes my new assets for me. Here we're seeing what we just created and you could cycle through them all. So there you have it folks. That's a quick look 
at Asset Export in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017.